a few years ago, guys. We're going to put this on the screen here. Uh, Henry Cavill was on a plane. See that? That's Henry Cavill on a plane. We're very, very specific. And then um, this uh, at crypt zero dad underscore put that's awesome. A few weeks ago, I did some work on the new Flash movie. This is from like a year ago, I think. Here we go. August 21st, August 2nd, 2021. A few weeks ago, I did some work on the new Flash movie with Superman and Batman on set at the same time time boyhood dream come true he then followed up with geez this got some engagement no kidding uh sorry for not replying sooner but i actually have a life outside twitter yes cavill not saying anything else also will be deleting the tweet so you fanboys better screenshot it quick before it's gone and no i won't be getting fired recent reports guys have indicated that henry cavill superman is not in the flash but it will be just simply news reports on the side. But looking at this from not even a full year ago, are the reports of Superman on a plane a lie? Or or not on a plane, sorry, Superman on television and old reports with old footage from Man of Steel. Is that a lie? Are they trying to trick us? Are they deceiving us so that when he appears in the movie, we are shocked and surprised? And is Henry Cavill still in the DCEU or whatever you want to call it, Scotty. I don't know, man. They, uh, <laughs> they're doing all this on purpose. It's like t- they're yes. going as, as close up against the Snyder as they can without crediting him. And it's so annoying. It's like you're, you can see it. Like we can all see what you're doing back when it was Shazam. And that, you know, the whole thing with Shazam, I'm okay with that because we didn't know if we, we didn't know we weren't getting Man of Steel 2 ever. So now it's just like when, when we know what the agenda, the agenda is, and it's just like, I'm an all or nothing right now. It's like, why are you, are you towing the line so close to it? Instead of just being like, dude, why don't you, why can't you come in and do mocap on your face for five minutes? And, you know, don't just put a fork in that super, in that Superman. That's foolish to me. Steve? I got nothing. <laughs> he agrees with everything I said, actually. Well, you, you, <laughs> made, some, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you made some good points. Um, I don't know what, like you said, I don't know what to believe anymore, and that's, that's how they want it to be. So I, don't, you know, I could speculate one way or the other. We're all, you know, we're, we're all going to find out eventually. Um, so I'm just, I'm just sitting back and... Until I see it, I don't believe it. That, that's the way I'm looking at it. I heard that Cavill wanted more money. That's what I heard. I heard Cavill, they brought him in, they offered him something, and he said, no, I want more. And I don't know if he wanted too much or they offered him too little. I also know, and I said this, I think I've said this every week we've done this now, I wouldn't blame him for not wanting to go back to that world of Superman because of the way Warner Brothers handled it and himself and everything around it. And even if you look at just Zack Snyder's Justice League, the press around it, Cavill was like, nowhere to be seen on any of that right like affleck mm-hmm. like you said earlier scotty was at the forefront he's like no i love this jared leto had more i think they talked to jared leto more than they did to henry cavill during that whole thing so it's very curious uh why he's keeping quiet but also look he has the witcher he has he just signed on for something else that's big he's sherlock holmes he's got a lot going on he doesn't necessarily need superman and if warner brothers were dicks to him I, I, I'm all, I'm all with him not wanting to come. I, oh yeah, for sure. And I, I think though, I think they'll find a way to bring him back because I, I, he was a great Superman. He's a, he's a nerd and he, he wants, I think he deep down wants to be Superman, whether he will admit that to himself or, or not. So we'll find waiting for, Uh, I'm waiting for DC to find their Robert Downey juniors. Like, where like Superman should be a character that can be put in in portrayed I've, seven eight times by the same person and you know I'll, where's your Iron Man mentality DC? They, they had that with Henry Cavill. They just screwed they screwed the pooch off the get go and I think they thought they had that Steve mm-hmm. when they cast Ben Affleck. I thought Ben. I think they mm-hmm. thought Ben Affleck was their Iron Man. Would and he be, was. He's in Suicide Squad. Yeah. Would it be the end of the world if they just recast him and said, "All right, it's the same Superman, just but a different actor. Just get over it, move on. Here we go." Is that out of line? I know. I don't think it is, except for the point that Scotty brought up two seconds ago. Restore the Snyderverse, which and 
like I said, I love those movies to death and I would be all in on more of them. But seeing that hashtag every two seconds, you know, when James Gunn makes a movie is restore the Snyder versus movie sucks. Yep. It's like, no, they can both be awesome. You don't you don't have to choose one or the other. You know, you, you don't Flash. have to review bomb Godzilla because of- <laughs> Elmo, you don't have to attack Elmo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, come on, like, I don't. That's the, that's, the, that's the problem. Is is fans have somehow clung to, to Zack Snyder, and he, I think he kind of enabled it a little bit, but he got his way. He's like, now he needs, like, you guys need to. Mm. They'll need just to isolate it. Up, it. They'll just say, oh, this is Earth ninety nine, and we'll never see it again. Yes. And the and Flash will establish get. that. Yeah. And I think, and I think we're gonna get uh, Val Zod as well. I think he's showing up uh, at some point, and that's gonna be our Superman going forward. All right.